Hello and welcome to Yum Yum Michelle Cooks. Today we're going to make tuna noodle casserole. You need three cups of noodles, you need four cups of water or chicken broth, can of mushrooms if you use them, can of tuna or you can use other fish, cream of mushroom or broccoli or chicken or what I'm using right here is celery, some shrimp, two cups of corn, and some cheese. Let me show you how to do it in the Instant Pot. Okay, here we are. So we're going to add four cups of water. We're going to add three and a half cups of noodles. We're going to add two cups of the corn. We're going to add the shrimp. We're going to add the mushrooms. Drain the mushroom uh, water off if you're using canned mushrooms. You can use fresh mushrooms. There's the mushrooms going in. Now I have to use a can opener for the other bit. So let's just get that going while I waste your valuable time. Okay, we're draining the water from the tuna can. We're adding the tuna. You can, if you want, you can break it up. Yes, I use my fingers when I'm cooking. I use my fingers all the time when I'm cooking. Because it's me that's eating it. So you do what you want. You can use gloves or you can break it up with whatever, fork or whatever. I just do it with my fingers. Okay. So once you've put that in, you don't put the cream of mushroom soup in. And you don't put the cheese in until it's fully cooked. You plug it in. Now, this is the fastest dish I've ever made. So the Instapot says off. Let me see if I can show you. It says off. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the lid on, turn it to sealing, not venting, go sealing, make sure it's on, press the pressure cook button. It's already preset for 10 minutes, so that's because I used this before for it. And then you're going to press... It's on for 10 minutes. It's warming up. It's doing its thing. And when it's done, I'll be back here to show you the results and add the cheese and to add the cream of celery soup. Okay, it is now venting. So we're going to let this vent for about five minutes and naturally, and then I'll come and I'll press the vent. I'll press it from sealing to venting. Okay, so now it's at six minutes. Venting, we're going to go ahead and press the vent. Some steam's going to come out of it. You do not put anything on top of there. Some people put uh, uh, hand towels. Don't put anything on top. Let it vent. Don't put your hands in front of it. Don't go near it until it's finished venting. And don't try to open up the Instant Pot before it finishes venting. And sometimes some water will come out and I found that it's because you've added too much water to it and it's starting to like spray. Okay, we're just going to let it do its thing for just a couple of seconds here until the steam is gone. And then we're going to add our cream of celery 
soup and we're going to add the cheese now it doesn't matter what kind of cheese you add or how cheesy you want it just a good sized brick would be fine You could also add your own personal flavorings. You can add garlic or you can add oregano, salt, pepper, whatever you want. I just didn't add it with mine because the shrimp that I used had seasoning on it. So I just didn't bother and, and uh, put any um, seasoning with it. Okay, that roughly took about two minutes. You hear, sometimes you hear a little bit of a click. Then you could open it. Now, I'm going to take you a little bit closer. So this is what it looks like. Okay. It might seem a little bit watery. That's okay, though. Some people like theirs a little bit more watery. If you find that there's too much water to your liking, then decrease the amount of water that you use. Like I used four cups of water, you might do three cups of water. Okay. Now we have put we have put the soup in. Okay. And then I am going to put the cheese in. And technically, the Instant Pot is still cooking. Technically. And sometimes, you know, if you find that you have too much water, you can also drain it. But we put our tuna noodle casserole into uh, either another pan and cook it in the oven with the cheese on top. Or we put it into a bowl. And I'll show you what that looks like. And then we put a little bit of our own seasonings on top because my husband doesn't like as much hot spices as I do. So I wait to season my own. Okay. So this is what it's going to look like. I'll show you in a sec here. If you could see this. See? And then you just put a little bit of your own spices on top. And you can put your Parmesan cheese on top. But that's how I make it. You may want to do something different. Like put it in the oven after it's had this. And put more cheese on top. But this is just the way that we prefer to have it. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.